In the previous video, we asked ChatGPT to write a to-do application for us and it was able to code the to-do application in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In today's video, we are going to ask ChatGPT to go a step further and develop a data entry system for us. So what we are going to ask ChatGPT, we are going to write act as a web developer because this statement will give ChatGPT the authority to act as the web developer and give us some advanced code for uh, the website or the application that we are going to develop through ChatGPT. So after that I am saying I will give you instructions about how to develop a website and you will design and develop the website for me. My first instruction is as follows. So here is my first instruction in double quotes that I am going to give to ChatGPT and then let ChatGPT do its work. So I am saying that develop a web page for me that displays a bootstrap designed form on the page to input item, city, date, purchase price and sale price. And the form should allow three items per row. When the user clicks on the add button or presses enter, the item should be added below the input form and should be displayed on the page. Use HTML, CSS, Bootstrap CSS and Vanilla JavaScript. So this is what I am going to ask ChatGPT and then let ChatGPT develop this application for us. Let's press enter and sure here is a simple example of a website that meets the requirements you specified it this is the response of ChatGPT, and it has already started writing the code for us so let's wait for uh, a minute or two until it finishes writing the code then we will be copying this code to visual studio code and then run the application whether it works and it meets the requirements or not so let's wait for a few minutes Okay, ChatGPT has finished writing the code for us, so let's copy the entire code from here. Go to Visual Studio Code and in the new application that I have created by the name of ChatGPT file download and inside that application I have created a file by the name of index.html. So let's paste the copied code here and go to ChatGPT to copy the remaining code. Let me copy this code as well. Let's create another file by the name of index.js. Let's paste the code here. Let me write the missing const. Save the file and remember this file has already been brought to the index.html page by the statement. So let's go to index.js and add the missing characters. Remember in this line we are missing something. So let's see this. Let's go to ChatGPT and yes we are missing this character so let's add this character to the code here and at the end of the line let's save the file and let's go to Google Chrome and launch the application so localhost and Go to ChatGPT file download. When I press enter, I am seeing this page. It's called item tracker. We have item, then city, then date, purchase price, and sale price. So yes, requirements that were given to ChatGPT. Uh, it's fulfilling the requirements. Let's see whether it's adding the items or not. Let me give the item name book city for example London and date remember we don't have a date picker here so this will be a modification to the code let's add the date by ourselves for example 0101 purchase price 10 sale price 12 and when I press the button enter yes the item is being added to this table let's add another item notebook city Mumbai date 2023 20, 01 10 purchase price is for example 5 and sale price is 6 and this time let's hit enter instead of pressing this add button let's press enter and yes 
so uh, it's also uh, adding the record to the table what we need to do here is to uh, modify the code a bit and add a date picker instead of the date uh, input field so let's go to chat gpt and ask chat gpt to add a date picker for us and we also want a download button below this table uh, which will allow us to download this added data in excel file so let's ask chat gpt to modify this for us please modify the application and add date picker for the date field and also add a download button below the table of records which will allow the users to download the records in an excel file let's press enter and see what chat gpt does for us okay you can use javascript libraries such as jquery okay do it for me. so chat gpt has finished writing the code and it says that here is the complete code for the web page let's copy it from here go to visual studio code remove the existing code and paste the new one let's copy the remaining code that chat gpt has written for us so we'll copy it from here it is the remaining part until this let's go to visual studio code and paste it uh, the error that we are seeing is because character was not copied from chat gpt so let's add it manually and the error will be removed remember that we still have a code remaining at chat gpt so let's copy this go to visual studio code paste it here and we are done so let's save everything go to browser refresh the page that we saw earlier let's refresh it and see if we have any changes yes we have the changes made to the application we have each item of the form on a separate line okay that's fine we have a date picker that's so interesting and beautiful we have add button and we have the download button let's add a few records and see whether uh, it functions properly or not so let's say we are adding a book in london again and the date was for example hmm, january 1st 2023 purchase price 10 sale price 13 and press add yes the book is added to the below database then let's add another item that is notebook Oops it's notebook and it is in Manchester the date was uh, 1 February price five dollars and sale price is seven let's press enter instead of uh, clicking the add button so let's press enter and the enter functionality is gone we will ask chat GPT to add the enter functionality again so let's add it it is added so add button is working properly now pressing enter does not invoke the add buttons click uh, event listener so we will ask chat gpt to modify the code and enable us to click the add button by pressing the enter button on keyboard but at the end let's check the download button whether it downloads this data in an excel file or not let's let me click this and yes it is downloading uh, records.csv file if I open the CSV and it is uh, showing the data that we added through the data entry system which was developed and designed by chat GPT so we have developed a data entry database where we can add as many records as we want at the end we will be able to uh, click the download button and download all the records that the users have added or entered through the input form which is designed and developed through the help of chat gpt 
So this is the power of ChatGPT that we can use it for almost any task that we have. Uh, we have created applications through ChatGPT in the past few videos and we have automated some Excel stuff as well. So for watching more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you can be notified whenever new videos are posted here. Thanks for watching.